There's still many reminders of the faults that still need to be fixed. In a Georgia courtroom today, jury selection began in the trial of three men accused of murdering an unarmed black man. It was an incident that shook America right at the start of the pandemic last year. Ahmaud Arbery was killed in February of 2020 while out for a jog in the small town of Brunswick, Georgia. But it wasn't until more than two months later, after graphic video was released and protests erupted, that the three white men involved were ultimately charged and arrested. We'll get to all the tributes to Colin Powell in a moment, but we begin with Elwin Lopez on a trial that is expected to captivate the country. Hundreds of potential jurors showing up today as jury selection kicks off in the trial of three men accused of killing Ahmaud Arbery. His death is sparking a national outcry going far beyond this coastal community. We all don't have to look alike. We don't all have to believe in the same beliefs, but we are so much greater together. A thousand mailboxes hit with jury duty notices. That's about one out of 85 residents in Glen County. Simply because the case is in the media doesn't mean that you can't find jurors uh, who will uh, be able to approach the, the case without you know, having already made up their minds. Prosecutors say the 25-year-old was fatally shot in February of last year while he was on a jog near Brunswick, Georgia. The cries for justice amplified, with people taking to the streets after this cell phone video of Arbery's final moments emerged. It appears to show Gregory and Travis McMichael chasing after Arbery. Their attorneys say they suspected he was a burglar after seeing him enter a home under construction that same day. Travis calling 911. I was leaving the neighborhood and I just called a guy running into a um, house being built two houses down from me. Neighbor William Roddy Bryan took the video. After this brief altercation, it allegedly shows Travis shooting and killing Arbery. All right, guys, everybody's got their weapons up, correct? The immediate aftermath caught on police body camera. Arbery's body still on the ground. They start wrestling and Travis shoots him around the damn chest. He had to, the guy was trying to take the shotgun away from him. At one point, Bryan claims Travis McMichael uttered a racial slur while Aubrey was on the floor. Mr. Bryan said that after the shooting took place, before police arrival, while Mr. Aubrey was on the ground, that he heard Travis Michael make the statement. He also allegedly told authorities he tried to block Aubrey with his vehicle. Bryan speaking with police. I mean, if the guy would have stopped, you know, I mean, find out what was going on, he obviously was upset. Okay. 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 I mean, this would have never happened. Uh, okay. You know, should we have been chasing him? I don't know. We believe that Roddy it was nothing more than a witness to the shooting uh, on that day uh, and that he acted in good faith at all times. The three suspects were not arrested until more than two months later after two different district attorneys recused themselves and failed to bring charges. It wasn't until the Georgia Bureau investigation got the case and some 36 hours after this video went viral that arrest really started to happen. So it was really public pressure and outcry for the most part. The McMichaels charged on May 7th and Brian almost two weeks later. I'm tired of our kids living in fear. You know, we got kids, grandchildren, all that stuff. We got to worry about all the future. And I'm scared right. they can't be going for a run fearing for their life, dunking bullets. It's got to stop. Two arguments that are expected to play heavily in this case are then citizens' arrest law and whether or not the McMichaels acted in self-defense. What we're going to see here to try to beat those charges are going to be the old citizens' arrest law, and I say it's old because it has roots from the pre-Civil War era. That citizens' arrest law was just repealed in May, the jury now having to separate the past from the present. It's going to be a constant reminder from both the judge and of course the defense attorneys that say, hey, we know that citizens arrest is gone. We know that the political climate changed it because of this murder, but that's something you cannot think about. And that's going to be very difficult for a lot of people because common sense would say, well, if you change this law because of the death of Ahmaud Arbery, there must have been something wrong with it. Elwin Lopez, ABC News, Brunswick, Georgia. Elwin, thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.